Welcome to the Georgia Virtual College Fair. Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions. This presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at the same website where you register. And now I'd like to turn it over to our first presenter from Middle Georgia State University. Take it away. Hello and welcome to uh, today's virtual probe fair. And it's my pleasure to speak with you about Middle Georgia State University and about how we can assist you in your college pursuits. Uh, so my name is Wesley Sewell with Middle Georgia State. Um, I want to talk to you about one of the fastest growing universities in Georgia. Uh, Middle Georgia State University with five campuses physically and one online MGA direct. We have a classroom size of about 18 to one with over 8,200 students um, and over uh, 40,000 alumni across the nation and the globe. We invite you to discover your passion here with Middle Georgia State University. We have over 65 different courses of study and our top five majors include aviation, nursing, business, psychology and information technology. Uh, of interest and note, uh, something unique to us, we are Georgia's only four-year school of aviation. Um, also of note, a couple of new bachelor's degrees include our bachelor's degree in political science, our bachelor's degree in social work, and our bachelor's degree in applied art and design focusing on film and graphic communication. Uh, so please discover your passion with us. We really want you to thrive on campus and have a very pleasant and engaged experience. Uh, so there's over 65 different student organizations for you to participate in and uh, enjoy. Uh, 13 different NAIA athletic sports uh, to participate in or spectate, as well as a couple of competitive club sports, such as our NCFA football and IHSA equestrian teams. Um, we also have 10 residence halls on our three residential campuses. So three of our five campuses are residential. Our Macon campus, uh, located right there in Macon, Georgia, about two hours from everything, two hours from Savannah, and two hours from uh, Atlanta, or an hour from Atlanta, um, is um, one of our largest campuses, uh, two residence halls, uh, a dozen academic buildings, our recreation and wellness facilities also here on this campus, uh, including indoor pool, uh, racquetball and basketball courts, bowling alley, gaming center, and of course, workout equipment. So this is a very, um, very desirable location. Lake Viewpoint is our newest residence hall on any campus, housing freshmen and sophomore. And University Point is for upperclassmen on campus as well. Our Cochrane campus is our largest residential campus with room for about 1,200 students to live on this campus. Uh, it's also our oldest campus founded in 1884 and home to most of our athletics. So it has that more traditional college campus, residential college campus um, atmosphere and experience. And we invite you to come and explore this with us. Uh, if you are by chance from out of state, uh, we do offer border state waivers as well to students attending our Cochrane campus. Um, we have three different resident style options of which you could choose what you'd like. Our Eastman campus is our aviation Pacific campus. Um, we're the only campus in the University System of Georgia that offers flight training uh, as well as uh, airport management options available for students. Uh, you can see our airplanes and helicopters on screen. Um, and then of course, we also have on-campus residential housing options. It is a little bit more limited with 140 rooms. Uh, so students who may not get into this housing facility their first year can look at staying at our Cochrane campus about 25, mile, uh, 25 minutes away. Um, and we provide a shuttle service between the Cochrane and Eastman campus locations. Uh, our own, a fully online campus may be desirable for a number of students, offering the flexibility and affordability uh, while being able to enroll at your own pace in our fully online degree program. 
Uh, we are proud to be the most affordable state university in the, um, in the system of Georgia here. So you can look at the cost on screen. This is before financial aid, before scholarships. That's very affordable, only about uh, 15,000 a year. Uh, and we are the most affordable state university in the system of Georgia, saving you some money uh, and helping you with your degree. I do encourage you to get a bachelor's degree here from Middle Georgia State or whatever school you plan to attend. Uh, many of our students obtain some type of financial assistance from the university, whether that's through grants and loans through the FAFSA, scholarships through our foundation, or student employment while on campus. Uh, our foundation does award out a number of scholarship opportunities, totaling almost $400,000 worth of scholarship money. Uh, and the deadline for that for our current high school seniors and other students who may be applying is January 2021. Note, you do need to be accepted to the university uh, to apply for our scholarships here at the university from the foundation. This is my direct contact information on screen. I invite you to call or text me at the phone number provided. You can also email me uh, at wesley.sul at mga.edu. Or you can go to our website and schedule a virtual information session with either myself or one of my colleagues. We also offer in-person campus tour options on several of our campuses, as well as self-guided tour options for you uh, to participate in as well. This is the application steps to Middle Georgia State. I welcome and invite you to apply online. Our application is free during the month of November. Uh, senior transcripts, test score optional, but recommended. And uh, for Georgia residents, a Georgia driver's license. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from the University of Arizona. Hey guys, thank you so much for having, having me and so glad that you guys are here to join us during our presentations. Um, my name is Tanisha Blackwell. I am the regional recruiter with the University of Arizona. I'm actually based and located here in, in um, Atlanta. So if you have any specific questions, even after our meeting, please do not hesitate to reach out. So just to kind of give you guys an overview, the University of Arizona is actually located and based in Tucson, Arizona. If you're not too familiar with exactly where that is, it's about an hour, hour and a half south of Phoenix. So with that, we're definitely a lot closer to the US-Mexican border and more on the southern part of Arizona. So our student population, we're looking at a little over um, 45,000 undergraduates 30, 36,000 undergraduate students and a total of 45,000 students altogether. So though we are a larger institution, we are still able to maintain that individualized support for our students as to where whether it's having their um, their dorms, their facilities, or restaurants, they are within this one square mile of our beautiful campus. We also have it as to where um, in order for students to be successful outside of campus, we do have an office that's dedicated primarily to making sure that students are also engaged, not just inside of the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. So with this, a lot of that is done with either um, internship opportunities that we have, job opportunities, of course, um, capstones, and of course, volunteerism as well. So. I always tell students you are what you make your experience here at Arizona and because we are also considered a research one institution, a lot of research opportunities are available for our students as well on campus. So on a co-curriculum level, you'll also find a number of opportunities to get involved with. So with over 600 clubs and organizations, along with our D1 athletic teams, our cultural centers, our leadership organizations in Greek life, students are able to quickly find exactly where they fit as to when it comes to their specific interests. So with over 300 undergraduate majors and the ability to either have multiple majors or either a major and a minor, um, our Wildcats are literally thriving in any area. So whether that's from the arts to business or sciences, our students are doing a lot on campus. So as mentioned before, having an average class size of about 20 to 29 and a 15 to 1 student to faculty ratio, as I mentioned before, we do have various academic supports um, services for our students, such as our Tink Tank, which is a peer tutoring center that's dedicated to making sure that our students there are top, um, top tier successful in their classroom. 
So in beyond the campus walls, you can also always explore our beautiful uh, city of Tucson. So whether you're a, um, a foodie, a shopper, or someone who enjoys outdoor adventures, there's something for you to do in Tucson. So our fall 2021 application is available on our website right now. It usually opens every year, August 1st of every year. So with that, we are available in both the Common App and Coalition. So we are a rolling admissions institution. So what that just means is that we are always accepting students. So um, we have it as to where students have applied in August, September, October, and they actually know if they've been admitted or not. So not only are students able to submit their applications, they are also, once they are given the decision, they're also awarded merit-based as well, which I will go over a little bit more in the slide. So when it comes to com um, applying, all you would need to do is complete your application, submit your self-reported grades. We do not need an official transcript as yet. And then we can go ahead and start your application review. So when it comes to various colleges, such as our nursing, engineering, and of course our business school, they do require additional materials or additional review as well. So those students, we do let them know ahead of time if they would need any additional information when it comes to applying for those specific majors. Now, one thing I really do love about the University of Arizona is that when it comes to our tuition and mandatory fees, we do have it as to where it is guaranteed. So what that just means is that for our students right now, they're currently paying a little over $36,000 as an out-of-state student for tuition and fees. So with that, they have it as to where they will, own, they will pay that one price for all four years. So their tuition will not increase each year. So of course, for a lot of families who are looking at budgeting and financing, this is really an important component of that. Now, what you're looking at right here is our tuition award um, spreadsheet. This is also located on our um, financial aid website as well. So as you guys can see, for our out-of-state students, we do have awards that go up to about $35,000. And this does not include any additional any additional um, grants or outside community scholarships that students um, would add on to this that is stackable as well. We also have a platform that is called Scholarship Universe. So with this, students are able to, once they're accepted, they're able to complete a small profile. And what it'll do is actually match them with various scholarships throughout campus. So whether that's with donors, departmental scholarships, or even alumni scholarships, this makes it a lot more easier for our students to go ahead and get those additional resources financially that they need. So with that, each year we've been able to actually award over 80 percent of our students with additional aid that they would need and of course when it comes to outside or um, out of state student scholarships that's actually increased tremendously within the last two years so now that i've given you guys a lot of information about arizona if it is that you are interested of course in talking a little bit more here is my contact information so definitely take a picture but when it comes to any um tours that we have we do have additional uh tours campus tours on campus, then we also have college info sessions for students to attend as well. So thank you guys so much. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from the University of North Carolina, Asheville. Hi everyone, thanks for being here. My name is Savannah. I um, am an admission counselor at UNC Asheville and I serve all students from my own home state of Georgia. So I'm really happy to be here with you all this evening. UNC Asheville is uh, the designated public liberal arts institution for the UNC system. So um, if you're familiar with Chapel Hill, that is like our cousin. That's the flagship of the UNC system. UNC Asheville is the designated liberal arts and sciences university of the system. We focus on interdisciplinary learning, collaboration and communication across academic disciplines. Um, we believe that you are gonna be a better biologist if you can have an informed conversation with a political scientist. We think that you're gonna be a better art historian if you have some understanding of economics and business. So it's all about taking classes inside and outside of your major all four years that you're with us. Most liberal arts schools tend to be a bit smaller. So we have about 3,600 students total enrollment, fewer than 50 of those students are going to be graduate students. So it's very much an undergraduate focused campus, which means all the resources, funding, research opportunities, and faculty are there for you. We don't have any graduate assistants or teaching assistants teaching any of our courses. Um, our average class size is about 20 students and our faculty to student ratio is one to 13. So you really are going to know and be known by your faculty and your peers on campus. 
Uh, we love to facilitate hands-on learning. And so um, one of the ways that we do that is through our undergraduate research program. Um, like I said, we're a very um, undergraduate focused campus. We actually founded the National Conference on Undergraduate Research about 35 years ago. Um, and last year, 70% of our 2020 graduates completed original research. Um, our students go on to present at regional and the National Undergraduate Research Conference. They publish in academic journals and do all kinds of really cool work. These are our um, majors. I'll just kind of list off our top five, um, kind of what we're known for. Environmental studies is our most popular major. Students focus either on earth and environmental science and research or environmental policy and management. Sustainability is a core value of our institution and a huge passion of a lot of our students. Um, biology, psychology, and management, which is our business program, are also in the top five. And then new media um, is our fifth most popular major. And so um, new media is really where computer science and art intersect. Um, so a very liberal arts major. Um, it includes things like animation, graphic design, web design, virtual reality development. Um, a few other hallmark programs at UNC Asheville are gonna be our mechatronics engineering program. That's a bachelor of mechatronics engineering. It's essentially robotics. It's a blend of mechanical, electrical, and engineering and computer science. Atmospheric science is also pretty um, a niche program. We draw a lot of out-of-state students to that program to study climate science and meteorology. Um, and then music technology. Um, Asheville has a thriving music scene. We have a full recording studio on our campus. And so you can get a bachelor's of science in music production and technology. You'll see our minors here and our pre-professional programs as well. Um, I'll just point out our pre-med advising program. We had a 100% acceptance rate into medical school last year, so we're really proud of our pre-health students. Um, we also have a 2 plus 2 program with NC State University, which is one of the top engineering schools in the country. Um, it is also 10 times larger than UNC Asheville. So if you are drawn to maybe the smaller class sizes, um, maybe the mountains of Western North Carolina are calling you, um, you can get your first two years of engineering done with us and then transfer to to finish up at NC State. So you'll have UNC Asheville and NC State on your diploma. Um, and then finally, as another unique program, I'll point out our teacher licensure program. Rather than having you major in education, we have our future teachers major in their subject area and then become licensed to teach in their grade level. So if you want to teach middle school math, that is awesome. We want you to major in math and get really good at math and then also take courses in the education department to become licensed in your teaching area. If you've been to Asheville before, um, you already know what a special place it is. If you've been to Asheville and like Asheville, I promise you will like our campus as well. We're about a mile from downtown Asheville. Um, we are three hours north of Atlanta. Um, we're the largest city in Western North Carolina, west of Charlotte, settled in a valley in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, downtown is a vacation destination, so you have access to um, the music scene, like I mentioned, the art scene. It is a foodie town. It's a really fun place to be a young person. And then I think we kind of have the best of both worlds because we're also a mile from um, the Blue Ridge Parkway. So you've got access to all of the outdoor activities, hiking, biking, rock climbing, snowboarding, skiing, kayaking, rafting. Um, all of those things are right here in your backyard. We have about 80 active student organizations, but outdoor programs is by far our most popular. We also have NCAA Division I athletics. We have 16 Division I athletics teams. We also have club sports that compete regionally as well as intramural sports. We do have Greek life on campus, study abroad, um, different types of student organizations, lots of different ways to find um, extracurricular activity and community outside the classroom. We accept Common App and the CFNC application, which is for North Carolinian students. So coming from Georgia, you're probably gonna use the Common application. Um, we have early decision and a regular decision. We do have a second um, early decision deadline coming up of January 15th. So if UNC Asheville is your top choice, that is a binding application, but you do get, um, to kind of skip the line and get your admission decision first. Um, then we have regular decision, um, which you still get considered for all of our merit scholarships if you apply regular decision. We'll just wait a bit longer for your um, decision. Then as far as what we're looking for on the application, um, we, are, we do a holistic review. I wanna know who you are as a whole person. I wanna see your balance of success inside and outside of the classroom. I start by reading your essay so that I get a sense of your personality, your voice, your writing style, those sorts of things. Then I'll look at your transcript. I wanna see mostly A's and B's. I wanna see that you're challenging yourself, whether that's honors classes, AP classes, IB, dual enrollment, et cetera. Um, we do require one letter of recommendation and test scores are optional this year um, due to COVID. So if you have an SAT or an ACT score that you would like to submit, you're welcome to, but you do not have to to complete your application. 
Um, there is my contact information. Like I said, I serve all students from Georgia. So um, please reach out to me via email or on Instagram. Um, and then we also, I'll plug our podcast. We have an admission podcast. So if you're tired of staring at Zoom to learn about college, um, you can search ABL Bound wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks so much. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from the University of North Florida. Remember to send in your Q&A questions too. Hello everyone, good evening. My name is Seamus Houlihan and I'm an admissions coordinator with the University of North Florida. So tonight I'm gonna to take a little bit of time and share some information with you about what makes our university unique. So UNF is located in Jacksonville. We're about 150 miles outside of Savannah and just under 350 miles outside of Atlanta. We have about 17,000 students, 15,000 of those are undergraduates. So we really focus on the undergraduate learning experience by providing those research opportunities, clinicals and internships to those sophomores, juniors and seniors that are really excelling in their coursework. We have a student to faculty ratio of 19 to one and an average class size of 34. So you may be wondering, what are some things I can do outside of the classroom? Well, we have over 200 official clubs on campus, 19 division one athletics and over five miles of nature trails located on campus as well. So like I said, we are located in the great city of Jacksonville, Florida. We are about 20 minutes from downtown where a lot of you students will be doing your internships, clinicals, research opportunities through the wealth of Fortune 500 companies and hospitals that we have in the greater Jacksonville area. We're about 15 minutes from Jacksonville Beach where our UNF surf team plays second in the nation and first on the East Coast. And we also offer student discounted tickets to the Jacksonville Jaguars, our NFL team, go Jags. So we have over 50 different majors, 80 different concentrations here at UNF, but tonight I'm just gonna talk about three of those briefly that really make us unique. First up is our coastal and marine biology program. Students within this program, they study dolphin behavior, shark biology. They travel throughout the estuaries in the St. John's River, the intracoastal waterways in the Atlantic Ocean. They take watercraft out. And we also have a full-fledged necropsy lab located on campus as well. Within our music performance and jazz studies program, students have performed at Carnegie Hall and the Vatican, and they've even performed with Arturo Sandoval and Herbie Hancock. We also offer the only accredited ASL and deaf education programs within the state of Florida. And ASL one through four is taught completely by deaf faculty. And we offer on the job training through the Florida School in the Deaf and the Blind, which is located in St. Augustine, Florida, the nation's oldest city, which is only 30 minutes away from campus. If you'd like to see our full list of majors, you can go to that bit.ly link below. So this is something that we just started offering here at UNF that we're really excited. It's a new discounted tuition rate for qualified Georgia residents. So to qualify, a student must meet only one of the following criteria. So if a student meets a minimum GPA of 3.5, a student displays an ability to enrich the UNF experience through unique talents and skills. A student is pursuing a degree in a high demand field, such as education, math, science, computer science, or engineering. This excludes our nursing selective access program, or a student is committed to being actively engaged in the UNF Hicks Honors College. So if you'd like more information about this, you can go to unf.edu slash tuition. You can see the in-state tuition rates because keep in mind that yours will be 125% of the Florida in-state tuition rate, which is typically around $212 per credit hour. So when you apply to the university and you are admitted to the university, you will be notified if you qualify for this brand new tuition program. So these are our application materials. I'll leave this slide up for just a moment. Keep in mind, if you're a senior, you are eligible to apply to the University of North Florida right now. If you are a junior, your application opens June 1st, 2021 for summer and fall 2022. So this is how you can directly contact me. There's my email address, there's my office phone number. 
I would highly recommend following our various different social media accounts for updates as well. If you want to schedule a virtual one on one meeting, you can do that by going to this bit.ly link right here. And we are currently offering virtual and in person campus tours through this link right here, unf.edu slash welcome center, as well as a wealth of virtual different events as well. I appreciate your interest in the University of North Florida. Hopefully I'll see you on campus next year. Go Ospreys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next we'll be hearing from Weber International University. Hello everyone, thank you for taking time to come out tonight and learn a little more about Weber International University. All right, we're gonna get this rolling here. All right. I'm sorry, one second, I have a little, some difficulty issues right here, one second. All right. All right, All right so um, Weber International was founded in 1927 on the shores of Cricket Lake. Um, Cricket Lake is roughly about 300 acres um, natural lake that um, you can actually get a view from anywhere on our campus. And um, our university was named after um, Camilla Grace Weber, who was um, our founder's granddaughter. We actually started out many, many years ago as a business uh, um, institution, and we have been slowly transitioning and evolving, enrolling got more programs, which we will discuss later on in this presentation. In terms of locations, Weber University uh, is going to put you kind of close to everything, uh, pretty much right between Orlando, Tampa, roughly about an hour and 15 minutes south of the Orlando area, just to get a quick idea of some of the things that are around us in terms of activities and things to do in the community. All right, um, of course, anytime you choose a university, something that's going to be important to you is your dorm setup. Uh, we have several different, different options for students. We had all the way from single occupancy with a private bathroom. If you're on the first floor, your own private entrance, all the way up to three per room and with, with, uh, with the bathrooms located in the hallways, more dorm style. But um, depending on how you choose to live or how comfortable you may be in each situation, we have several different options for you. All right. On our campus, we've gone through major renovations here recently. Um, this is just a snapshot of some of the things that we have going on here on campus. Um, but student union have been completely redone. We've added a Starbucks, we've redone dorms. It's been a massive overhaul. So if you're ever in the area, um, please feel free to stop by. We are still doing campus visits. Um, simply call the campus. Um, we do have a strict COVID policy where you will be tested before you come to campus, but we are still doing in-person tours and visits and we welcome you to come on campus anytime. All right. All right. In terms of activities on campus, these are just some of our clubs. Um, we did just start a brand new fishing club this year, and we are offering um, scholarships for that program. Those scholarships will stack with merit based scholarships as well. All right. We compete at the NAIA level, and we're in the Sun Conference. These are some of our teams. Um, we do a war athletic aid if you're interested. Please make sure you reach out to our admissions um, department, get us over a film for any sport you may be interested in, and we'll have coaches reach out to you and assess the possibility of you earning athletic aid. All right, newest um, offering in the athletic arena is gonna be our esports program. We've actually built an entirely new facility. Um, they're gonna be PCs, Xboxes, you know, the, the whole nine um, in that facility is gonna be located roughly two miles from our campus. Um, but this, this is something that's going to be brand new. So if you're interested in competing in esports, please let us know. And furthermore, even regular students, students that are not actually competing in the esports program will still have access to these facilities. So there will be open hours where students can go game um, to their delight. Some of the games that we're going to be playing, League of Legends, Call of Duty, and Rocket League are what we're starting out with. Um, once we get the program fully up and running, we are going to do surveys and talk to students and get an idea of any games that they want to play moving forward so students will have the ability to um, make recommendations. All right, in terms of academics, uh, we are 23 to 1 ratios with our co current COVID policy. We are doing all classes on a hybrid format right now, which means if a class is meeting twice a week, 
half of that class will meet online that day, the other half will be in class. So that 23 person class will be actually split in half. All right, as I mentioned, we started out many, many moons ago as predominantly a business university. So we do have five different MBA majors. Those of you are looking and pushing deep into the business field. And these are some of our new offerings in terms of our evolution as a um, school on our academic end. On the medical side, we're offering occupational therapy assisting. We will be one of the few schools in the state of Florida that actually offers OTA at the bachelor's level, as most schools offer at the two-year degree level. Um, health Service Administration, the other one, and then Sports Performance Health are some of our other medical programs that are brand new to the campus. All right, um, if you are interested, no matter what school you want to go to, I always love providing this type of information to students. Please make sure you get your FAFSA done early. The benefit to you as a student is, you know, getting it squared away, knowing where you stand with the university in terms of receiving a funding plan, knowing exactly what the cost is going to be. So regardless of what school you're looking at, the sooner you do this, the better you're going to be able to make more decisions because you're going to be more well-informed. And we can't make informed decisions without being well-informed. So please take advantage of jump on financial aid and FAFSA, get all that stuff squared away as soon as you can. It can only benefit you. Um, these are different ways you can apply to Weber University. We actually have a free application. Here's the link. Um, Common app, we're also a member. Please reach out to us on there. Um, typically, when we receive an application within two days, we're going to follow up with you and let you know that we did receive it. And then as soon as we receive unofficial transcripts, we can move forward with your application uh, and process it. Right now, with everything going on with COVID, I know some students are struggling with actually getting those SAT and ACT scores. So right now, we're making all decisions on acceptances and merit-based scholarships solely off of GPA. Um, so that's just a little quick um, synopsis of Weber University, some of the things that we have to offer. Um, we're looking forward to hopefully seeing some of you all in the spring. My name is Mr. Albert, um, and I certainly look forward um, to working with you. I want to thank you all for taking an extra step with everything going on to, you know, I mean, try to grab your future by the horns and make wise decisions. I know that it's difficult in times that we're in right now, but I definitely want to give you all kudos for, you know, going extra miles to secure your future and take the next step in your educational um, um, goals. But you all have a blessed night. Thank you. Thank you. Lastly, we'll be hearing from Southern Illinois University, Carbondale. And send in any of your Q&A questions. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom. I'm a admissions coordinator here at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. Um, we are at the southern tip of Illinois, so think about like six and a half, seven hours away from Atlanta um, at the very southern, southern part of Illinois, so not close to Chicago at all. Um, we are among uh, the top 5% of all higher education research institutions in the United States, so if you are interested in uh, doing any sort of research, we're a great fit for you. Um, freshmen get to do research their first year here. So if you want the opportunity to maybe get published or work on some cool groundbreaking stuff, um, this would be a good spot for you. We have about 10,000 undergraduate students. So we're considered a mid-sized university, not too big, not too small, kind of like the happy medium. Um, even though we have about 10,000 students, our class sizes are relatively small uh, with the average being uh, 13 to one student to faculty ratio. So definitely uh, your professors will know who you are. Uh, so don't, don't skip class too much because they'll, they'll come find you. Uh, our housing is pretty cool, it's suite style. So um, you share the bathroom with only one other uh, room um, and we are offering single rooms this year um, as long as you get your housing contract in on time. So you'll get your own dorm room uh, they're the biggest in the state of Illinois, so they're, they're uh, fairly big. They have all the utilities, cable, internet, everything you need, AC. Um, and our meal plan is anytime meal plan. So as long as our dining hall is open, uh, you can eat as much as you want, buffet style, um, as long as it's open. So if you just want like an ice cream or a burger, you just go in and eat. Um, back when I went, I only got to eat 14 times a week because uh, I had a punch card system. So I, I like that they, they switched it to this now. Uh, our athletics. Uh, we're a division one school, so we have about 15 uh, sports. Uh, we play in the Missouri Valley Conference, and we just added women's soccer as our newest sport. Uh, and as a student here, you get free tickets to all our events. So you get to see a football game, basketball game, volleyball game. Um, and all you do is have to show your student ID and you'll get in for free. Uh, and that's pretty cool. We have over 300 registered student organizations, including academic, uh, religious, professional. We have Greek life. Uh, University Honors Program, Intramural Sports, um, Flying Salukis, tons of different events and ways to get involved with us on campus. 
Uh, we offer you in-state tuition, so you don't have to pay any out-of-state fees or anything like that. You pay what an Illinois resident would pay. 90% uh, of our students receive some sort of financial aid, and we give away $10 million in scholarships and grants annually. So um, we hopefully it can give you a pretty good package if you consider SIU. So this is our estimated budget. Uh, with fees, tuition, and room and board, it's about $25,000. Uh, however, part of our fees is health insurance. So if you're on your parents' health insurance, you can get about $2,000 of that reimbursed. Um, and then we also have academic scholarships that we can offer you uh, based purely on GPA. So it starts at a 275. As long as you have at least a 275 GPA, you will get a scholarship from us. Um, that's all. We don't look at test scores uh, for any of this unless you did really well on it and you want to submit it, you can, but it's not required. And if you have a really good GPA, like a 3.8 or higher, you can compete for our Chancellor Scholarship, which is our competitive full ride scholarship covers tuition, fees, room and board, um, all for four years. So yeah, there's an interview process for that. If you qualify, uh, you have to get admitted before November 30th, that's the deadline for that one. So um, if you are around the 3.8 or have like a 28 ACT, I'd recommend applying as soon as possible so you can compete for our full ride scholarship. Um, our application is free right now until the end of November. So you don't have to pay uh, usually the $40 fee, you won't have to pay it right now. Um, it takes about 15 minutes to apply to us. There is no essay or anything like that. So it's a super easy application and we don't need your test scores. That's totally optional. We'll just need official transcripts sent in from us. And we also have social media. So if you wanna follow us, uh, we're on TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Um, and we're doing campus visits right now. So if you did wanna visit campus, we have virtual campus visits and we have in-person campus visits. So um, you can follow us on our website and learn more about that. And if you have any more questions, I'll be here in the chat and feel free to reach out to me. Thanks. Thank you. So we have a bit of extra time. Um, if you have any Q&A questions, please go ahead and submit those. And I'd just like to invite all of our reps to come back on and do a round of Q&A. I'll just ask you to please share your favorite tradition that takes place on your campus, and we can just go in the same order that you presented in, um, starting with Middle Georgia State University. All right. One of the awesome traditions we have here at Middle Georgia State is at, is at graduation on our Macon campus. We cross over Lake Knee Deep, uh, walking between the academic buildings and where graduation is hosted as a transition. Um, signifying uh, leaving and graduating from college. And as an actual program tradition, real quick, um, I earned my private pilot's license through the School of Aviation. And part of that is when you first solo, they dump a bucket of cold water on you. And that's, uh, that's a pretty neat tradition. Yeah, one of the traditions that I love that they have at the University of Arizona is every spring they have something called Spring Fling, which is very similar to a carnival. So anything from stuffed bears to funnel cakes and rides, they usually have that available for our students, but then we also invite the community as well. So it's another great way to kind of get connected with the community and also some of your classmates as well. One of my favorite traditions at UNC Asheville is exam breakfast. So every semester um, on the evening of the first day of exams, um, we have a late night like breakfast for dinner um, and resident students and off campus students, you don't have to use your meal plan. Anybody can show up to the dining hall. There is always a line, um, but our faculty and staff serve um, breakfast for dinner in the dining hall to all of our students. So it's a really fun interaction um, with especially your faculty who you have exams with and um, there's karaoke. And so it's just like a really fun night where everybody, it's usually like eight or 9 p.m. and everybody just eats breakfast food and sings karaoke and chills out with the faculty um, to kind of release some exam stress. That's one of my favorites. Um, yes, I'll say my favorite, um, I think that we do here, our tradition is gonna be our fall bonfire. Um, we get together, we have a huge fire pit. Um, we have been doing much more social distancing this year with it, um, but it's just a great get together. Students enjoy it. They're allowed to invite um, friends, family, but we're right there on the shores of, um, of the lake and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, mine is we have a, the great cardboard boat regatta. Um, so you get to build a cardboard boat and 
uh, race it across our campus lake. Uh, it's a pretty big lake and see how long it can hopefully float and not sink. I guess I'll go. Uh, so we have a tradition where our engineering students build concrete canoes and they see if they can float. And obviously the team that gets their concrete canoe to float wins. But we also have a tradition where students that when they graduate from the University of North Florida, they take a photo in front of, in front of one of our Osprey fountains um, on campus. And that's for tradition, tradition once you graduate. Awesome. Thank you all for sharing and thank you all for joining us. When you go to close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey. We'd appreciate any feedback you can provide. Also, this was just one of many different sessions being hosted. So be sure to sign up for additional sessions. Um, and in about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other sessions recordings at the same website where you registered. So, Thank you, everyone. Bye.